The President's car, bulletproof, bomb-proofed and weighing three tons, has a fold-back vinyl-covered roof. Under the vinyl is a plastic panel top that's thicker and tougher than the windows in America's fighter planes. Dropping a Molotov cocktail on top of it would be about as effective as scratching it with your fingernails. No statesman or military leader in history has ever been so well protected inside his car. During the inaugural procession from the Capitol to the White House, President Nixon was sealed safely inside. Only for the last few yards did he stand up through the sunroof so that the crowds could see him clearly. Built into the rear wing of the car is a hydraulic switch for lifting a handrail. It's for the President's personal bodyguard of Secret Service agents. If the car has to accelerate in an emergency, they can hang on with one hand and shoot with the other. They stand on a footrail built into the bumper. In front of the driver are the controls for the massive electronic, security, communications and air conditioning equipment. It's more complex than any president has ever had before. There's even a system which transmits outside sounds to the inside of the car when it's sealed. The driver can be cut off from the rear by a soundproof, bulletproof screen. Both compartments are separately air-conditioned. And with six people in the back on a hot day, the car crawling at processional speed, the air conditioning is designed to keep them all cool and fresh. When the president's sealed inside, he can talk to the crowds through a built-in public address system and, of course, hear their reactions through a set of loudspeakers inside the car. A two-way radio telephone, but no sign of a cocktail cabinet. The acceleration from the specially tuned 340 horsepower V8 engine is tremendous and it has to be to move the three tons of car. Even with all its tires blown off, it can still make a 50 mile an hour getaway on the special steel hubs. But to insulate the American president from the American people has cost half a million dollars. <laughs> 